Hello everyone. My name is Sai Zia. I am a technical marketing engineer from Enterprise Switching Team. Today I would like to showcase our new solution of ASAC hosted firewall on Catholic 9300 families. As we are seeing more and more OT networks are bringing to the IT network, there's a need to bring firewall closer to IT OT convergence point. So that stateful inspection of traffic at the edge can be carried out even for laterally moving traffic, which is not necessarily leaving the enterprise network. Today, catalyst switches can do ACL, but those are stateless, depend on power packet inspection. OT devices are tend to have higher security risks. So a distributed firewall on Catholic's 9000 switches being present at the touch point can simplify the network by eliminating tunnel to the central like firewall. The main use case for this solution is stateful inspection of traffic flowing across IT and OT domain. ASCC can also support granular access control, secure remote management, and IPsec tunnel and more. This is the same feature priority as ASAV. So if you are familiar with Cisco ASAV, functionalities are exactly the same as uh, ASAV when you're running for ASAC. The difference between ASAC and ASAV is ASAC is a lightweight Docker container that we can run on K9K, while ASAV is KVN packaging. So you can even reuse ASAV license for brownfield deployments. For greenfield deployment, we will have ASAC license available. In terms of performance, we can get up to 930 Mbps throughput with 9300X models and approximately 8000 connections per second. The ASAC container can support up to 10 logical interfaces for multiple segmentations and support it on routed mode where you can have different subnet for inside and outside interfaces. ASAC high availability also supported on 9300 stack switches. Why ASAC is running on active switch, standby switches automatically syncing application data in the background. So in case of active switch go down or switch over, standby switch will take over control planes and ASAC container will bring up from that switch. For ASAC management, we can use Cisco Catalyst Center for deployment and Cisco Defense Orchestrator CDO for firewall policy management. For small deployment, you can use iOS XC CLI or ASDM for local web UI ASCC policy management. Now let's take a look on hardware result requirement and how application is running on Catalyst 9300. Catalyst 9300's model provides two vCPU, two gig of RAM, while 9300X model provides four vCPU and eight gig of RAM for application hosting. ASCC requirement is minimum of two vCPU and two gig of RAM, and minimum of three logical interface where you can define the management IP of the ASCC, the inside network and outside network. As you see in this diagram, you will need to define management interface for ASCC, the inside network or network interface, and outside network interface. All these interfaces are connecting to Epic port, so you will need to have a trunk port configurations on along this VLAN. One of the important thing is you will also need Cisco SSH storage to securely store the applications and the data. Now let me show you a quick demo for ASAC on Catholic 9300. Here is a scenario. We have inside network with VLAN 11, outside network with VLAN 21. We use 192.168.10 network for inside, 192.168.20 network for outside. In this demo, I would like to show a hacker is trying to do post scanning from outside to inside the network. From the hacker PC, you will see you we will scan the pole, the inside host of 192.168.10.170. As you see, a few TCP ports are open here. Now we can look at how we can host firewall on 9300. We were deploy ASAC app using the Cisco Catalyst Center. Here is the Catalyst Center workflow.
you select the device then set ASAC configuration you can define management interface for ASAC as VLAN 3 inside network of VLAN 11 and outside network of VLAN 21 and also you can upload interface configurations and daisy to configuration file as here i have already uploaded it for this demo then provision is to the switch and wait for a few minutes now you see asac is fully deployed At this point, we can able to go to CDO, Cisco Defense Orchestrator, to manage the ASCC policy. In the inventory, you can add ASCC to the CDO. Then go to ASCC policy and select the policy uh, based on your day zero configuration file. Here is the ASCC default policy from day zero config file. You see that TCP ports are allowed. We can simply change the policy to deny and click save and confirm. Then deploy the new policy configuration to the device. So ASCC policy is going to be immediately effective. Now you can check whether hack card is able to do both scanning or not. As you see, hacker is no longer able to see the TCP ports and inside host is secure. This is my quick demo for our new ASAC solution. As I mentioned earlier, ASAC have same feature priority as ASAP, so you can even also use VPN or IPsec capability with ASAC container. Hope this demo is useful and thank you for watching.